Good day, I'm Andrea Chisholm and this is your GIS News for August 15. Government has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with representatives from the Latin America Energy Organization, OLED, to establish a sub-regional office in Jamaica. The office is the second of its kind in the region and will serve the energy needs of nine Caribbean countries, including Jamaica. Energy Minister Philip Paulwell says the MOU is a clear demonstration that the government is committed to finding the right energy solutions for its citizens. The opening of this sub-regional office presents the Caribbean with additional technical expertise that will be integral to our development and will help to meet our development goals, particularly within the areas of energy security and efficiency. The Education Ministry is pursuing negotiations with financial institutions to get more loan facilities that will support educational development. To see how we can have them devote some of the savings of the Jamaican people, some of the extraordinary deposits of capital which used to chase after government bonds and, and issues. The Portfolio Minister discussed the importance of attracting private investments at a recent scholarship awards function in St. Anne. First Regional Cooperative Credit Union Limited presented several secondary and tertiary students with scholarships and book grants. GSAT students, meanwhile, are being urged to embrace the new opportunities awaiting them in high school and strive for excellence in more than just academics at the secondary level. That urging comes from the State Minister for Science, Technology, Energy and Mining, Julian Robinson. Because by becoming a rounded individual, it gives you a greater appreciation of the society around you. It allows you to become a better team player to understand the dynamics of working with other people and it prepares you for a life of work once you leave school. The state minister was speaking at a recent presentation ceremony where 64 St. Anne students who did well in this year's GSAT exams were awarded certificates of merit by the Naranda Jamaica Bauxite Partners. Government is looking to undertake a comprehensive reform of the mental health sector to improve the level of care given to persons with mental illnesses. Mental health officers reportedly treat more than 50,000 patients annually, in addition to the more than 1,000 patients seen at the Bellevue Hospital. Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson says his ministry will be taking a fresh look at the 2007 Cabinet submission on the level of care given to these persons. Consultations will be carried out before the document is resubmitted to Cabinet for approval. Jamaica has to pursue excellence that's guided by international best practices to remain at the top of the tourism game. That's what the tourism ministry and its partners hope to achieve through various training programs. They say the best, ad, 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 the best advertisement, right, Rosie, for tourism is a second visit, a repeat visitor. And everybody loves Brand Jamaica. But if we don't make Brand Jamaica or make, make it continue to be globally competitive, then it won't mean anything. TPD co-chairperson Maxine Henry Wilson was speaking at a recent rally for the more than 600 young persons in the Tourism Ministry's summer internship program for 2012. It's funded by the Tourism Enhancement Fund and provides youth with training and internship opportunities in the sector. And finally, look out for an even more impressive showing at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, Brazil. Jamaica's Taekwondo Olympian Kenneth Edwards declared to JIS News Tuesday night that after a successful 2012 Games, his sights are now set on 2016. The Olympics was a fantastic experience for me. Um, you know, it's the highest pinnacle of you know, any sport that any athlete could do. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied, my coach satisfied with performance for our, first, for our first games. Rio, here we come, you know. Edwards and a contingent of Jamaican Olympic officials were greeted at the Norman Manley International Airport Tuesday night by the Minister with Responsibility for Sport, Natalie Nita Headley. And that's it for GIS News Today. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Thank you for watching.